Hello guys and good morning. Welcome back to part 22 of Let's Play The Lux Life. So uh, in the previous part, Cora here aged up and we went ahead and kind of did her outfits and stuff like that. We did one of them and the part pretty much ended. Uh, let me just take a quick, okay. Um, I was just taking a quick peek to see what time it was. But so for her everyday wear, I did this. Okay, which she kind of has more. I need to change the boots. Yeah, I forgot about that. She has a very hipster sort of look for her formal. I did that, which I love. I think you guys saw all this. Uh, party outfit looks very cool. I love her freaking party outfit. I think you guys are too. Very, 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 very hipster. If you guys like this, we could probably do this something like this for her everyday look. By the way, I didn't, I haven't mentioned this yet, but we're going to be doing some lookbooks on xurbansims.com of things like this and giving you links of exactly where you can purchase, or not purchase, but download, sorry, download all the items to create cool looks like this. I love it. So, um, there's that. And then her sleepwear is like kind of obviously basic. You just saw that. And then swimwear. And last but not least, athletic wear. So she definitely, I'm going to let her wear her party outfit around the house. Uh, she definitely, definitely takes after her father. I did actually get to go in and see, look at Zane cleaning up around the house. Oh, uh, finally. <laughs> um, I did get the chance to see her father and she has his profile. So there is no, 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 Faye, honey. She's going potty. There's no mistaking that that is um, his child, basically, in a nutshell. So we've got little snooty pants walking around, acting all prestigious. That's right. She is currently uh, cleaning up after last night's party, which was um, quite a quite an interesting little little shindig, to say the least. I'm going to actually let her go to the bathroom. All, the, all my sims have to go potty. And, of course, Zane, instead of getting up and, I don't know, doing something with his life, he is going back to bed, um, but Faye is going to work in about 48 minutes, and we have to treat three patients, and just got a lot going on. I really want her to kind of spend some time with her sister. It's been a while, and I feel like it's kind of important for her to do that, so we probably, we probably will. Um, Cora is coming upstairs and giving her aunt, or no, she is going to go and give Cora a hug. This little girl is literally her life. She wants a baby. Oh, there's a poll on xurbansims.com as well. And it is to who to have a baby with. And I hate to say it, but everybody is saying Hank. Everybody is saying Hank. People are just saying that Zane isn't the one for her. And I, I you know, I, I kind of, I'm starting to agree with that wholeheartedly. Um, I do feel like he's just not, he's not ready for what she needs. And, um, a lot's kind of been going on. You know, I do need to update with you some, some stuff. And again, I'm like so freaking promoting my website right now, but whatever. Um, on my website, I'm going to be starting to do also besides doing the lookbooks, I'm going to be kind of doing like, you know, little short stories or kind of updates on, you know, the rest of the, the family in, in the series. So like, you know how there's Kyle and Micah and all them. Well, Kyle, Kyle, Kyle. But Kyle and Micah have actually gotten a divorce and all the juicy gossip and information of why is indeed on my bloggity blog or my, my website, which will be in the description below. It's xurbansims.com X with the actual X's. It's not hard to remember, but um, I thought it'd be kind of fun. You know, to just, like keep you guys updated because you guys are always asking me like, wait, what about, you know, the, the, the other side of the Bermans? What about the other side of the Springstons? And they live lives too. They've got their own issues. It's just these are the ones that we seem to be focusing on the absolute most. But in reality, they got some pretty juicy stuff. So if you guys want to hear the full gist of it, um, you can actually go ahead and just go. I'm not going to tell you. I'll, I'll talk about it in the next part. But um, I'm not going to. I'm going to have you go look for yourself. It's actually quite quite interesting to say the least um and it, and it has to do with um i don't know i guess i'll just have to you guys are just gonna have to go look it's pretty interesting actually so some some stuff will be happening on the other side of the bermans that is also very dramatic um so here we are at work yet again and uh priscilla you know we work with her every single day um she's looking a little different these days a little smiley a little bit you know, puffy around the edges. I don't know. That's kind of weird. Anyway. <laughs> let's go. Okay. Let's go give a patient a shot since that's one of the things that we're supposed to do. All right. Let's go do that. I guess we're talking to Priscilla. I don't know why. We never do. We see her every morning, but we never say anything to her. 
Uh, all right, so let's go and give this little chicky a shot. She's gonna be leaving me too. Um, you look like you have some scratches on your head. You kind of look like Mr. Unsa from Sons of Anarchy. Love that freaking show. Um, <clears throat> we need to wait for somebody to come in, so we can just make the bed because that's what you do. Help out around the office. So many times we've done this. We've treated to patience. <laughs> Should be a song. Why isn't it? I don't know. All right. There's actually a YouTube uh, something or other coming up here in Seattle. Um, on June 19th, I think it is, or something like that. And I guess a lot of YouTubers and stuff are going to be there from the area. I'm thinking about going, you guys. So if you live in the Seattle area, let me know if you're going to go. Because I'm thinking about actually going to that. And, I mean, I'm just a small little guppy, you know, in the world. And, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty outgoing. Don't, don't get it twisted. But, like, I'm still kind of nervous to, like, you know, go in and uh, go kind of get out of my zone a little bit and, and, and immerse myself in, in the YouTube community in that way. Like, if it was a whole bunch of simmers, like, cool, yeah, okay. Like, yeah, that's, that's home, you know? I'm totally cool with that. But I don't know what it's about. I just know it's like a lot of you, like other YouTubers and stuff are going to be there. So it's kind of like, I don't know what to expect. That's really the biggest thing. I don't know. Anyway, I'm thinking about it. I don't know if I will, but we'll see. Uh, I do need to calibrate an x-ray machine. So that's always fun. Let's go do that. Uh, we are done talking to the kid about flies. Okay. No, honey, you don't have any bot flies roaming around in your stomach. Now, I do think Faye is just looking for something a little more serious. And I can tell you this detail. Hank is actually moving up in the world. He recently got himself a gorgeous house. And he wants Faye to come over after work and check it out. And even though him and Career are over and done. And so over and done, might I add. Even though he's still very hurt about what she did. He always has had a thing for Faye. Now, their relationship isn't, like, amazing or super bonded. But have you ever in your life, okay, girls, boys met someone that you had a very brief connection to and then you know maybe you didn't see each other for a very long time or or whatever the case is and you met them again and it was like you picked up where you left off and or maybe you just always kind of kept some sort of line of communication open whether it's a occasional text through facebook or whatever the situation is that's kind of like what it is with um with Faye and Hank, it's it's there's something that's always been there, but nothing's ever been made out of it because of the situation. I'm I'm sure you all can apply that to your own life situation. I'm looking for a puddle. Of course, there's one by the toilet. Somebody missed. All right, but yeah, you can apply that to your own life situation. It's exactly how it is with Hank and Faye. Exactly. It's there's no other way to explain it. Um, and I I think she often catches herself thinking about him, and and although she wants to marry Zane again it's just more for this is what I'm supposed to do I'm I'm getting older you know it's time versus is this really the right one for me is this really Mr. It and I don't really think she thinks in her heart of hearts that Hank is Mr. It but she does have something some feelings for Hank and she and she always has so I don't know like I said I don't really know Am I admitting you to the bed? I really don't know where to to go from here. I'm, I'm trying to. Okay, there we go. You know, so we'll see. I, I, she's She agreed that she's going to go visit his house after work. And I don't know if he's working, though. Um, I don't know if he is working. Where is Mr. Hanky Poo? Uh, and, we're, and we are friends, by the way. Somebody said they're not even friends. No, we are. There are. We are friends. We are friends. Okay. He works until nine. Oh my god! I'm gonna go there at not. Do you work today though? Too damn, damn it, Hank. We, you want me to go there late? That's kind of weird. Okay, well we'll have to go home and we're gonna have to like get ready. Ah, I'm kind of excited to see him. I'm serious. Isn't that weird? I'm excited to see Hank. Oh my god, what do I wear? Oh, I can feel her nervousness. That's crazy. See, and that's what I do. I put my freaking. Um, I put my, I put my, my soul <laughs> in, in, where well, you're supposed to swap her before you get yourself a sandwich. Now get over here and swap the damn girl, okay? It ain't no pap smear, so don't fear, all right? Thank you. 
Anyways, um, what was I saying? So yeah, I like that's the thing about me is I put myself in the Sims. I literally put myself in their situation and I feel as if this is why I should be a freaking actress because I'm telling you, um, I literally try to feel did that swab not work. I'm just curious because it doesn't look like it did. Try again. If you go over there and you try to grab yourself something to eat, I'm probably going to snap your hands off. OK. But yeah, so that's why I put my hand, I put my feelings in in The Sims, and I really try to feel what they feel. And because so many people have asked me, you know, how do you get into it? How do you continuously? Um, and I'll probably do some sort of like video for you guys, like you know, my YouTube story and how I started, and just kind of like something very much like this. And I think that would be fun, like a live video of it. But what was I saying? So, like, yeah, I really do put myself in, 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 in their shoes. And I feel what they feel. And that is how I continue to make my, my stories interesting is because I think much more than a game. I think much more than it's... Um, I just... I really immerse myself into it. And it's just such a hard... It's, it's, like, it's like a drama. It's like a... Oh, Zane's off to work. Okay. Um, it's like a... Telenovela. It's something that you just do. I don't know how to explain it. It's just the way that I've always played. I, I literally look outside of the fact that it's a game. And I, I use this tool to create these elaborate stories because it does something for me. It excites me. It gets me excited to live someone else's life in a sense because you can do almost everything that you can do in real life in The Sims. And for me to kind of have that mindset, I never run out of things to do. I never run out of scenarios because one little detail can change an entire life and once you think that way and get into that mindset the the really the 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 possibilities in the sims in general is limitless there's no limit you know i, I get really upset <laughs> when people are like sims 4 is so boring i've already played everything right you haven't you haven't you haven't done everything you need to get you need to spit on your noodle and get a little freaking creativity in there. That's all you gotta do. Just a little and you'll be good. I'm telling you. Creativity is everything. Creativity is key. Like, seriously. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just feel like sharing that with you. Because I get that, that question quite often. Is like, how do you keep your game so interesting? And that's how. I actually work a lot better like this. Because we're doing pretty good. I, I mean, we could stay late. Because, like, seriously, though. I mean, might as well. Right? We stay till 6? Yeah. Because, I mean, to be honest with you... <laughs> Uh, we ain't got nothing to do anyway, and I really don't want to see, see Zane so much. So, um, we've admitted, admitted her to the, the bed, and then we're going to check her ears, and then we're going to deliver, who's been here for quite a long, this guy, poor guy. I'm actually going to treat him, I'm going to prescribe him some giggly gas, and deliver, where are you going, sir? Okay, and I'm going to, I can't feed you after I prescribe you some giggly gas, but I can treat you, and then I get three treatments, yay! Which I think we've already done this, but no, we didn't. Okay, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. All right, I'm gonna make your bed. Your butt stinks. Move. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's check your uh, check the eyeballs on this one. Faye's so excited she gets to see Hank, and that's that. I'm telling you, there's something there. Um, I'm excited. Shit. I mean, uh, a chew. I sneezed. <laughs> I never swear, but sometimes it slips. Like, what am I gonna say? What am I gonna do? I don't know. All right, let's deliver some food. All right, there you are. I know it's like disgusting. I need to analyze a sample. I deliver some medication to a patient. Well, that's what I've been doing. Okay, you're a bloaty shot. Crap. 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 Well, this, it has to be medication. It cannot be a shot. Okay, I get it. And this thing's broken. Sweet. All right, let's go ahead and analyze the sample, though, real fast. And we shall, um, I don't know. We shall then transfer a patient case. Because then that way, I think once somebody kind of helps out here. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so she's been, oh, we, oh really? Oh, please be, oh, please. Yes, 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 yes. I think we finally just treated our first official patient, like, through and through. We get to deliver that medication to her. So come on, girl, pick up the speed. All right, let's go. Deliver the medication, please. Oh my God, you are just, you're disgusting. How close could you possibly be? Uh, okay, transferring the patient case in... No, no, don't leave early. Where's Priscilla? Where the hell is she's in the bathroom? Okay, shots faster or getting Priscilla to speed up her dump. I think... 
giving this one a shot would be a lot faster. So let's go ahead and treat the bloaty head. Come on, please, Faye Berman, you're tickling my pickle right now. You're really pissing me off. Okay, I want to give her the shot. Move it! Oh my god, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Oh my god, too many. <gasps> boom, boom, boom! Oh my gosh, bro. Woo! Yes, we were so close. Oh, that was, that was a titty twister. No, that was really close, though. I thought we weren't going to make it. Thank God we did. Thank God we did. Thank God we did. Okay. <laughs> I really need to slow my roll. I don't know. It's been one of those days. <laughs> Jen has just been crazy today. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So, um, we are home. And Zane gets off at 9, too. So, we'll make sure we leave the house early. All right. She's kind of hungry. So, we'll eat. And... This is, like, disgusting. I don't know. I'll eat this. I don't know how long it's been here. I, th I don't know what scrambled eggs are good for, like, five freaking hours. Uh, let's see how Caitlin's doing with her life. She's eating some. <laughs> She's eating the macarons from last night. She needs some social. Well, why don't you and, 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 and uh, your girl here talk? I mean, hello. You could probably spend some time with her. I mean, what is she doing? She's watching TV. Okay. Um, Caitlin's kind of a little bit of a social outcast. It's, it's weird, but she is for sure. It's kind of like, you wouldn't think that. Well, she acts like she's too damn good for everybody. So she should become good friends with Cora because to be honest, uh, I think they would have a good relationship, you know, like good friends or whatever the case may be. I don't, I don't really know though. Um, <clears throat> I have a freaking idea that just hit me like a ton of bricks, but I ain't telling you. I'm not telling you. Nope. Okay, so Faye here is getting her social in. She's got like an hour or so. She needs to take a nappy nappy. Um, She could... She needs to take a shower too. So um, let's go have her do that. Let's go take a shower. Okay, and then we're going to take a nap because we stink. And, well, we just, I don't know. We're going to take a nap because we need to um, go see Hank in about, like, an hour. So, I wanted her to shower because she needed it. And, yeah. I don't know if we'll change our outfit or anything because he hasn't seen, this, seen us in this one. But I know that we do need a couple Zs. So, I'm going to rest. And Cora and, um, Cora and Caitlin are just really hitting it off with each other. Which is interesting. I could actually kind of... Okay, I don't want to tell you guys. I'll tell ya. All right. I could actually see Cora developing actual feelings for Caitlyn. And Caitlyn almost not feeling the same way. Maybe she does, but she's so... It's like not socially acceptable in her family. I don't know. I it's Something like that. Very loose-based. If you have any ideas of where to go with that idea, let me know. Um, why is Cora jumping around? She ain't gotta go to the bathroom. Oh, because that's not Cora. I did. All right, I'm gonna have Cora use the restroom. I think, I think they need to do their homeworks. So we'll do that. She hasn't got any homework today. What do you mean? Where is your homework then? Uh, it's probably right there. Okay, we need to clean up this house because it is a porquita style. Like, look at all the mess. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay, so Faye... Hopefully, has gotten a couple good Z's in. I just wanted her to speed up the Z factor a little bit. Oh, hey, uh, Zane's home. Zane's home. And he's not going to want... He's going to come in and wake her up. He is not going to want her to leave, but she is. She's going to go see Hanky Danky Dank. All right. Hey, boob. What are you... Boob. What are you doing, Pooh Bear? Oh, all right. So go up. Give him a hug. Give him a freaking kiss. And give him a... Give him a base shot. All right, she's gonna go see Hank, go see his new house. Everything's kosher, right? Okay. Oh, he's trying to be so cute. No, she's she's like, I gotta go. Okay, see you. <laughs> she wants to woo, woo with somebody. Oh, she feeling freaky. No, you need to go to Hank's house. That's what you promised him. You would go visit, and you're already like 40 minutes late. Okay. All right. Come on. Hank, I don't know what you're doing with your life, but you need to figure it out. What do you need to do? You need to reach level two of the charisma and fitness skill. Okay. We'll have him work on that one, Morgan. All right. So Hank's new house is, I think it's in Willow Creek. It's Alan, their old lot. So 
Hank's new house is literally killer. Like, so killer, dude. Like, it's so nice. I am, wow. He has got it going on. I'm just saying, like, who would have thought, you know? He lived in such a crappy little house, and Carrera never thought he would have been anything. Never thought he would have been. Well, looks are pretty damn deceiving. Hopefully, he's here. You guys, like, seriously, look. Look at this house. Is that Hank up there? That's Hank. <gasps> there he is. Oh, he's home. And look, he has his glasses on. And he's so damn hot. Ah, I feel like a, I feel like a stage five clinger. <laughs> Stuck in you, boo. I see, baby. Oh, my gosh. So this is the outside of his home. It is ballin'. Shot calling. Like, what a pimp pad. Oh, my God. This is the life, man. I'm so jealous right now. Uh, all right. I'm going to go knock on his door. And she's feeling flirty. Now, would she cheat? No. She wouldn't, but things could be flirty. Okay? I mean, I'm not, I'm saying full-on sexual. No. She would never, like, sleep with him. But things, other things could very well happen. Where did he go? He disappeared. Where did he go? Look at She's like, oh, what is this? This is such a nice house. I know. Is he? Where is he? Where did he go? He was here. I'm serious. Where did he go, you guys? Oh, was he? Where did he go? What? He was. Oh, he went to bed. <laughs> Hank, no, no, no. He needs to come visit me. Or I could actually. Oh, that would be cute if I napped right next to him. Oh, he's like, you're here. I was like waiting for you and you took forever. Uh, she's going to come over here and oh, my God, I kind of want them to woohoo. I really do. I just I don't know. I don't know. I do want them. I, I do. I do so freaking bad. She's like, oh, my God, your house is gorgeous. Oh, we should compliment his home because, I mean, he just he just got it. Right. So that kind of would make sense. Um, take a picture together. Tell an engaging story. Talk about cooking. I don't know if I can actually compliment his house, which is a little crappy, but um, I am going to give him an inside joke. And maybe we could go downstairs and watch some TV or something or sit somewhere at least. Where's your living room? <laughs> Do you even have a living room? This house is kind of a little weird, though. It's right here. Okay, cool. So let's go sit together. Let's sit together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if he wants me to stay, but we're just, like, talking about different things. Kind of kind of catching up a little bit. Um <laughs> You know, I'm going to I'm going to try to make him romantic without flirting. I am. I'm going to try, but we'll see if it actually helps. I don't know if it would, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, we're just going to kind of sit with him a little bit and hang out, talk a little bit. I'm going to ask if he's single. You know, I'm just trying to see if maybe he's been dating lately or anything. And we don't know because we don't live in Hank's like life. But I do want to, like, promise to get dedicate him a song. But I think that's a little too much. You know, I do feel like, though, she could have a have a have a little bit of a thing, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um, I'm going to compliment his appearance. It's not a flirtatious thing because he does look stunning. I mean, gosh, look at look at him. Look at him. You cannot tell me that this man is not like a sexy, a sexy little piece of guacamole and queso. Like, mm, mm, mm. He's not feeling very flirty or anything. I kind of want him to feel flirty. So I'm going to see if I could uh, watch the romantic channel. If he feels romantic by any means. And maybe I'll, you know, try to like, I don't know. But he made me energized. He was like giving me a pep talk. Like the poor kid is oblivious. I am going to flirt a little bit. I'm just, it's innocent flirting. It's like joking, hee hee, ha ha, that sort of thing. But it's not like, um... It's not like, hey, I'm trying to get in your pants, sort of flirting. But I don't know. See, he kind of likes it. He does like it. And and she likes him. Oh, my God. I can see it, you guys. It's freaking kicking my butt. <gasps> Uh-oh. They got a little bit of a romantic something something going on here. Okay, okay. Um, she She's noticing that the conversation is getting a little hot and heavy. Um, I am gonna, I know, I don't want to make a move. I don't want to make a move. Can I stop? Can I not make? Okay, we're tickling him. Okay, cool. All right, we're being really, really flirty right now. Actually, 
very flirtatious. Look at the way that she's looking at him and the way that he's, oh my God, you guys, I can't. I can't, like, this is too real. And I think she, she can like, she can feel how real this is getting. I don't know, Faye, what do you do? What do you do, Faye? Do you stay? Do you go? I don't know. You guys let me know. Cliffhanger. So if you think that Faye and Hank should be a thing, go ahead on xnerdandsims.com. Go vote. Let me know what you guys also think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine. And in the next part, hopefully, we'll know what to do. I don't know, guys. She's not going to cheat on him or anything official. She has been a little flirtatious. But again, that's very lighthearted. Nothing serious to me. I don't feel like any kissing or anything's been done, nor has there any been any relations. So with that said, um... Yeah, just give me your information. And I'm not going to lie, I like his jacket, but it literally looks like a thousand pigeons just crapped on his arms. I don't know. <laughs> it just looks like bird crap. Oh, well, that's fitting because Faye, of course, is wearing the bird, the bird, uh, bird dress. So anyway, I don't know. It's either meant to me. I don't know. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and roll out. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. And let me know what y'all think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.